Our presentation is on KPC mice, a new mouse model for studying pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma, commonly referred to as pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer is a devastating disease with an abysmal 5 to 6 percent overall survival rate, signifying the desperate need for new treatments, which depends on effective preclinical models. Currently, Three main experimental test models exist. First, cell cultures using mutated genes. Second, cell and patient line-derived xenografts, which implant human cancer cells into experimental mice. And third, genetically engineered mouse models. Cell cultures are inadequate as they do not model the tumoral microenvironment of cancers. The cells, blood vessels, and connective tissues that surround the tumor are referred to as the tumoral microenvironment and can dramatically affect tumor progression and whether a drug can even enter a cancer cell. Cell and patient line derived xenografts usually do not serve as proper models for immunology studies because the mice have suppressed immune systems to prevent rejection of the foreign inserted tissues. Yet, to properly study pancreatic cancer, an animal model with an immune system that recapitulates human pancreatic cancer was desperately needed, which led Hingarani to create his KPC mouse model. Let's have a quick overview of this model. Hingarani's KPC mouse model mimics human carcinoma by introducing a high degree of genetic instability through two point mutations. one in KRAS, changing glycine 12 to aspartic acid, and one in PRP53, changing arginine 172 to histidine. These mutations were achieved by the Crelox recombination system, giving KPC mice their name. The activating mutation of KRAS, a proto-oncogene, led to constitutive binding of GTP. The dominant negative mutation of TRP53 reduce its tumor suppressor activity through a structural mutation affecting the global structure of its DNA binding domain. Together, these mutations allowed for the development of pancreatic cancer in KPC mice in stages that follow the normal disease progression in humans. Now, let's focus in on one of these mutations. One of the two mutations in the genetically engineered KPC mouse model was a KRAS mutation. 90% of human pancreatic cancer cases involve KRAS mutations, so this is an important mutation in the model. The following is the wild type KRAS in mice. Let's take a look at the GTP binding domain of the protein. If we add the ligand GDP, we can get an idea of how GTP fits into this pocket. The GTPase activity of KRAS is an innate way to regulate the protein's activity. The mutation in KRAS changes a glycine to an arginine residue. This affects the shape of the GTP binding domain. This is the GTP binding domain of the mutated protein, whereas this is the GTP binding domain of the wild type. Notice the structural change. Because protein shape is intimately tied to function, the mutation compromises the protein's ability to properly hydrolyze GTP. And so, the protein remains in the on-active state. The KRAS mutation is important because it leads to pancreatic cancer in several intermediate stages, starting with pancreatic intraepithelial neoplasis, otherwise called PANINS, and progressing to pancreatic cancer. The progression of these stages is shown in this image. By combining the KRAS mutation with the TRP53 mutation to create KPC mice, scientists have a better model to evaluate the efficacy of pancreatic cancer treatments 
The importance of this cannot be stressed enough. A study found that in a sample of 235 recently published stage 3 randomized clinical trials for cancer, 62% of these treatments failed to achieve statistically significant results. This represents a waste of time, money, and resources, which could be reduced with effective animal models, such as the KPC mouse. KPC mice also provide new insights into understanding pancreatic cancer treatments. One such treatment is the drug gemcitabine, a common cancer treatment that was effective against pancreatic tumors in mice models with transplanted tumors, but not effective in human patients or KPC mice. By injecting KPC mice with chemically labeled drug molecules, scientists determined that the drug was not able to reach tumor cells due to dysfunctional vasculature. This image, for example, shows how KPC mice and humans with pancreatic cancer have constricted blood vessels. This provides new insight into pancreatic cancer by highlighting a possible future target for treatments, such as ways to increase the vasculature of tumor cells in order to promote drug delivery. With current estimates, pancreatic cancer is projected to be the second leading cause of cancer-related death in the United States by 2020 and one of the only cancers where death rates are expected to rise. As in vitro, pancreatic cancer models are increasingly shown to be inaccurate representations of pancreatic cancer in vivo, KPC mice will take on a larger role in pancreatic cancer research. Hey guys, thanks for watching our presentation.